They queue every weekday outside the Little Star soup kitchen on the outskirts of Buenos Aires. Only today, when Maritza and her neighbours arrived, there was nothing left. They were supposed to have cooked plenty, but a lot of people turned up and we were a bit late. But they gave us some packets of food, which we'll cook at home. It's probably all they eat until the soup kitchen reopens, serving 70 families with food given mostly by the local authorities. Supervisor Mariana blames inflation for the increase in hunger, while the nutritional value of what they serve diminishes. Every day you go to the market and you'll find the price today is not the same as the price yesterday. It's very common. Prices rose 3.5 percent in September, more than 50 percent over the past 12 months. What we'd like is that people can buy what they need to know they'll be able to eat. Nothing more, just the basics, the things you need to live a normal life. Over 40 percent of Argentines live in poverty, while more than half of children under 14 years old don't have enough to eat. This for many is the last resort, the offer of a bowl of rice, which with luck will contain something nutritious to get them through the day. Because inevitably, the fight just to keep going will continue tomorrow. The government last week froze the prices of 1,400 essential items in a battle to control inflation that has blighted Argentina for generations. Some, some people say it's a race between uh, uh, wages and uh, prices and other incomes like pensions uh, and in the meantime you get somehow uh, exposed to losses in purchasing power that then you can try to recover and even anticipate. Trade unions hold regular protests calling for fairer wages to keep pace with inflation. They say that should take priority over repaying Argentina's debt to the International Monetary Fund. It's a scam and paying that debt is incompatible with ending poverty and destitution. Argentina's historically volatile economy was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. It's emerging from that catastrophe only to have to deal with two of its traditional enemies, a massive debt burden and rampant inflation. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.